housing, first in health, recently in sickness, nonetheless in good cheer and then some. And now he's not. I spent much of the last decade covering the NBA Finals with Stewart. We'd start a given evening standing courtside, pregame, picking the brains of anybody who gave us the time, players, coaches, scouts. We'd watch games side by side, never straying too far from our longtime broadcast mate, Magic Johnson, whose in-game wisdom traveled through IFBs into our heads like an IV for basketball junkies. Stewart would sometimes elbow me and say, yo, bro, we're watching the NBA Finals with Magic. The novelty and thrill of it never left him. And there was Stewart at the center of it all, studying, preparing fanatically, working out diligently every morning, even as cancer was attacking his body. But even so, he was there at the very end to present the winner with the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Growing up on the south side of Chicago and then along Tobacco Road, two hoops hotbeds, Stewart knew that basketball, more than any other sport, has a language all its own. A separate culture that has to be understood, then delivered with nuance and complete authenticity. Nobody has done it as well, and it's not like somebody's going to appear magically these next two weeks and replace the voice, the observation, the insight, or the basketball sensitivities of our comrade, our friend, gone too soon, Stuart Scott. Established the Stuart Scott Memorial Cancer Research Fund, which helps further the ongoing fight against cancer, and every penny of your donation will fund critical cancer research.